hello <laughs> you've got your kit of peppermint lemon and lavender and this is wonderful and exciting news um before i had come across to terra i actually used essential oils my whole life and thought i was quite um confident using them i knew what they could be used for i had lots of books on the subject my husband had been doing an aromatherapy massage course and we always had them um when i went to my first doTERRA class though i experienced pure potent essential oils for the first time and my mind was expanded and the results i have got from these oils has been consistent like black and white experiences really clear and powerful so i am really excited for you to have this moment especially if it's your first time with doTERRA oils to see what they are capable of so this little video is here to sort of um support you in that process, hopefully address any questions and give you confidence, which is what my role is in all this, to support and give people confidence to be empowered for whatever life throws at them. So the first thing about essential oils is they are the plant's immune system. They can come from the root, the stem, the leaf, the flower, and um, the doTERRA oils are very strong, very potent, powerful oils. In fact, the peppermint oil, one single drop is equivalent of 28 cups of teas worth of peppermint in terms of herbal quantity. They are powerful. One drop is plenty and it goes really far. Um, with doTERRA, they have something called the Certified Peer Therapeutic Grade Test. This test is to ensure that there's nothing added, nothing taken away. There's no impurities that have incidentally happened in the processing of the plant. Um, if the neighboring field was sprayed, that would be picked up and that batch would be discarded. Of course, ours is all grown beyond organically and from all over the world. Um, if there's uh, metals that have got involved or molds or any impurities that would be picked up and that batch would be um, discarded. If you look beneath your bottles, you'll see some numbers. If you go to www.sourcetoyou.com and look up those numbers, you will see the exact results for that exact batch of essential oil. So above and beyond testing and really transparent with third party results is what doTERRA offers. So you can have a reliable therapeutic grade essential oil. Now, the three ways to use essential oils is, first of all, aromatically. So I'm going to grab an oil here. I've got a peppermint. Um, do you remember? One drop, 28 cups of peppermint tea. Right. So I've got one drop in my hand. I'm going to rub it together, make the little molecules active. Cup in front of my face. Oh, my goodness, it's delicious. Breathe that in. And that high menthol content, you can immediately smell that. We've de de just deliberately got a variety of peppermint with high menthol because the chemistry is what interacts with our own body. And those molecules have gone straight up my nose, hit my olfactory nerve, and right with one single synapse to the limbic part of my brain. So essential oils have an incredible effect emotionally. And when you want an emotional effect, it's really helpful to use them aromatically because it is such a fast, efficient route. Um, yes, so um, what else? You can use diffuser jewellery um, when you've got a lava bead and pop it on or a felt pad, something like that, so the gentle aromas can sort of waft towards you all day. Of course, a diffuser, we recommend a cold water diffuser. I used to say just get any old diffuser. I really recommend doTERRA's over time. The others all broke. And this one has a beautiful, strong plume of um, mist that fills a room beautifully. So hands down, best <laughs> best ones I've come across. Um, that's, yes, yeah, so those are all aromatic uses. The next is topical. So for topical use, dilution is key. Dilution traps those volatile aromatic compounds so they don't evaporate they also make um them able to get into the skin better because they're held down and of course if anyone's got sens sensitive skin um it's good to first check as well and just do patch tests and see how you go but also if it's diluted there's less chance of developing any problems with that and again i remind you these essential oils are 100 percent pure and potent plant power so one drop is goes a really long way you can use roller balls you can dilute it in your hand um for topical use you would like to target an area that's needed so perhaps you've been outside and some little insects come and bit in you and you want to sort of support your body with the sensation um, you can put a little bit of essential oil on that little dot and perhaps get the soothing qualities of that oil on that area. 
Um, I'll get to that with this, these particular three oils shortly. Um, with topical use as well, within 20 seconds, the oil is into your bloodstream and within 20 minutes has had access to every single cell in your body. So it's very powerful. And again, it's very reassuring to have something that you know is so pure and has no adulterations or um, poor quality plants in them. So I think that's all about topical use. Our next is internal use. I can only speak for doTERRA oils here again because of the testing. Um, we know that this is fine. Uh, lemon essential oil is cold pressed uh, lemon rind and has a very high quantity of dilemonine in. This is the number one top tip I ever give to anyone using essential oils. A drop of lemon essential oil each day in a glass. It cannot be plastic because it strips the petrochemicals and then you would be ingesting them. Glass, ceramic or metal vessel. You put your water and your lemon in and it's so refreshing and delicious, particularly with a few ice blocks and some fizzy water if you like that. And this is one of the top, um, I don't know, it's such a huge systemic effect. It gently supports all our natural detox pathways. Um, the dilemonine supports our liver function. So many people have come back with a host of um, testimonials for how this oil has changed their lives and their life quality on a day-to-day -day basis. So very simple thing to do and totally delicious. Um, what else? Internal use. We've got veggie caps. So you can also get them on Amazon. You simply make up your own blend of oils and you can take that internally. That's useful for the more hot oils and of course cooking. And here you have the lemon, which is just delicious in a sort of icing or frosting. Um, peppermint. Um, I quite like that in smoothies. And I also like, I quite, it's such a strange thing. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I like to make an apple juice ice block and then put that into a water with a drop of essential oil and for some reason that works really well for me and you can make it look really pretty and decorative. Okay, internal use. Um, peppermint brownies. Oh my goodness, that, that you, <laughs> there's no going back. Raw chocolate or peppermint brownies and you'll be sold for life. All right, next thing. Um, we're going to cover those peppermint, lemon and lavender qualities briefly i did send you a little book hopefully with this and if you haven't get hold of me and i'll i've got these let's just get it there <laughs> these delicious up uh, delicious <laughs> delightful little mini books which sort of take you through the uses of the oils and it's just kind of mind-blowing if you didn't know what they're capable of and when you sense that a potent pure oil can really really enhance these therapeutic benefits well, you'll be excited as I am, I'm sure. All right, so peppermint, it's like a high menthol, it's cooling, very good if you're worried about um, someone who's poorly and they're thrashing about at night, you can put a drop down the spine. If you would like to control the temperatures more, um, I use it a lot for um, if I get like bites and things, I can help with my skin soothing feelings again, cooling. If it's that time of your life where you're getting a little bit unexpectedly hot, it's nice to have a spritz bottle with a cooling peppermint in it. If you have head tension, use it aromatically with a drop on your hand and breathe it in and maybe put a little bit on your temples, but it's really strong. So um, make sure you've diluted it and don't get in your eyes. And that can be incredibly relieving. Often I put, do it aromatically and then put it in the back of my neck, which can cool me right down. Um, I also sometimes make a foot soak with a peppermint oil in it. It's a really nice one for um, making bags not want to be in your house. They don't really like the smell. So I often use it as part of my DIY cleaners. And what else do I use peppermint for? Probably so many things. I <laughs> All right, so you can look in your book. You can message me with more questions. I can't go into everything. Uh, one more thing I will say, though, is it's got a high menthol content, so it can be quite sore, good for achy, sore muscles and just supporting the soothing feelings there. All right, the next I'm going to talk about is lemon, which I touched on briefly. Powerful, gentle, um, systemic detox it for your own body systems and really can help bring all the body systems into balance and that is why I get so many amazing testimonials. It also cuts through grease like it's nobody's business, it just dissolves, it's divine <laughs> to use for cleaning and it's the oil of focus and all the citrus oils uplift emotions so it can really make you feel happy well, support feelings of happiness as you clean which is really lovely and if you have an e-cloth you can like get completely streak free windows with using them the essential oil DIY cleaners and maybe some vinegar 
and it's great. I've cleaned my whole oven with it. My oven was a disgrace. I can't lie to you. All right. So, um, yeah, focus, cleansing, clean, cuts through smells, amazing lemon oil. And then we finally got lavender known as the duvet of the plant kingdom. It is so soothing and calming. So again, if you've got those pesky bites, it can be really helpful for that. Um, anything, um, so it's got kind of analgesic quality. So if you got any, um, maybe that time of the month and you just want something to support discomfort, it's a really nice one to rub on your tummy. If my children have head tension, it's the one I tend to reach for because it's so gentle. It's so lovely for sleepiness. It's absolutely my go-to every single evening. You can have a Epsom salt bath with lavender or massage it on your feet or a few drops in your pillow. And I actually tend to just pop some under my tongue it's really floral and then drink some water and it's like sleepy dust it's it's for me a game changer because that has never been easy for me going to sleep and lavender has really made a huge impact it's also wonderful for a racing scatty brain like mine so I find it very helpful for taking my thoughts and just calming them so I can put them in a better order and maybe um execute my tasks more accurately yeah, there's so much with every one of these oils. I actually could go on and on and on, but all things calming is lavender. Now, the beauty of these three oils is together they make um, what we call the allergy trio because they can really help with, a, uh, with soothing down feelings of discomfort from pollen or perhaps it was like a little bite or something like that. And it can support our body to deal with that. So you can use it aromatically, topically, or internally, depending on where you're feeling the most impact. Sometimes my husband has really bad days. He would do all three and maybe repeat it after a bit. Um, there's one word of caution with lemon. It is UV light sensitive. So don't use it topically and expose that area of skin to UV lights for up to 12 hours afterwards. Really important. Um, but part of that quality being there is why it is so effective therapeutically. So it's totally worth it. If you have any questions, feel free to call me or email me. My email address is doterra.nickersnook at gmail.com. And of course, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram on Nickersnook as well. Thank you for joining me for this video. I hope it was useful. And if you have any questions, let me know. Take care and goodbye.